What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Squelchpan here, back at you with another G Fuel review. To today we're going to be reviewing G Fuel Berry Bomb. Yeah, like the, the big pomegranate right there. And it's supposed to be a blueberry. And that's strawberry, and that's blueberry. And that's a strawberry. So this is a pomegranate, strawberry, blueberry flavor. And this is the reskin of Phase Berry. Back whenever Phase was a part of G Fuel. Um, but as I've been saying in videos, uh, Phase and G Fuel are no longer collabed together. Um, so that's why they reskin this. And a lot of the Phase flavors. I think the only one right off hand on my brain that has not been reskinned. I'm not even fully sure if it is a phase flavor. Is battle juice, which is just pineapple. I'm pretty sure it's a phase flavor. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so I, I just popped the seal real quick. Uh, just kind of get that part done. But yeah, it says berry bomb right there. The energy focus endurance reaction is the same. Um, it's got a dynamite thing there and a detonator with the fruit juice going everywhere and then like explosions in the background um, it's kind of that way just around the whole tub uh, 40 servings 15 calories uh, light tub unlike the dual berry one that we had which I don't know I like that I like how the black tubs look, look really cool. Um, yeah, so we'll take this top off. We're going to be using our winter white shaker cup today. Got some ice and water in there. As far as uh, for ice, how I'd recommend is I use water balls for my water. Um, but I fill the, fill the cup about roughly halfway with water, with, uh, with ice. And then fill it the rest of the way with uh, water until there's about that much uh, from side to side of the insert. So there's only like this much air space. Um, and then I put about a full scoop in there. Ooh, I can see the scooper. No powder. No powder on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and get the scooper out. It's dirty work, but somebody's gotta do it. Get all that powder out of there. Get the scoop off. This one's going by fast. Getting this getting the top off real quick. Doing all good there. You get all shaken up. We're just having a good little review today. I just got back from the gym and uh, feeling nice and refreshed after that. Uh, I'm tired, but it's like a good tired. It's currently early morning right now, but it's like a a helpful tired, a uh, accomplished tired. And I'm just tired for the sake of being tired. I'm tired because it did something. So. I'm proud of myself. If nobody else is, I am. So. I had a good time. Getting us a good little scoop here. Put it in the shaker cup. See, a little bit. Try not to tilt it too much with there being water in there. Alright, get that all lined up real quick. Uh, why did I... Silly goose, I put the... The lid on. I didn't need to do that yet. Alright. Give us a shake. We'll be right back. We are back. Alright, I'm going to give the tub a smell real quick. I gotta say, um... I don't think they've made it yet. I don't know. But, back when I read, Phaseberry was a pack, and 
tub and all that. They had Faze, Fazeberry and Sour Fazeberry. Fazeberry, I was okay with. I always like Tropical Rain more, personally. But, uh, Fazeberry was cool. But I wasn't really the biggest fan of Sour Fazeberry. It was kind of like how, uh, how Queen of Hearts was, where it's just sour for the sake of being sour. Although, maybe... Maybe Sour... Maybe Queen of Hearts is Sour Fazeberry. I didn't think about that. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? G Phil knows. But I don't know. So we can give this a smell real quick. See if it still smells good. Mm hmm. It smells sweet. Kind of getting hit with that strawberry smell, I feel. Not quite sure what's wrong with pomegranate. I think it's one pomegranate. Or like a hint of blueberry. So yeah, I think it smells like all three of the scents. If anything, blueberry is the lightest. But definitely strawberry. Definitely strawberry. So we'll give this a smell. That smells nice and refreshing. It smells kind of like a, like a fruit smoothie. It's like a... Like a, I know it's strawberry, but more like a fresh strawberry as opposed to like candy. I think that's kind of nice. Sounds like it could be like in a smoothie or something. Right, so let's give this one a sip. I think I might have got the ratio a little bit off. But not by much. A little bit of a kick to it. But, yeah. That's going to make a little bit, a little bit more powder. I mean, I had a little bit, it's like, it tastes like both like it had too much powder and not enough powder. Which is kind of weird. We'll, we'll add just a little bit more powder. Only add about, add about that much more powder. Like ten percent. Not really enough to go crazy on, just enough to give a little bit more of a kick. Because it somehow tastes in between, and if I add more powder, the only thing it's I shouldn't have to add any more to that. That's another sip. A little bit more broad now. That was smoother. Yeah, I mean, it, it pretty much just tastes like a like a fruit punch type thing, kind of a mix of the flavors. Um, but they all kind of like blend really well, so you don't necessarily taste them individually maybe if I try to I can I can get that like let's see, I'll try to taste strawberry specifically now nah, I just kind of all taste like mixed together which is nice I mean that's kind of the point of it being the nice your flavors if you just want strawberry you get a strawberry G fuel um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much just like a nice fruit punch, um, with a little bit of twang to it. I don't think it's that crazy of a flavor. It's a good flavor to have every now and then, but I don't think it would be like one of the ones I'd have all the time. So I'd probably give it like a, you know, like a, like a six, like a 6.2, 6.2 two fills nice. Um, so yeah, we'll go with like a 6.2 for Berry Bomb, the reskin of Phase Berry. Yeah, uh, literally just say, just, if you like Fruit Punch, but more like tangy, twangy, this can work, but not one of my personal favorites, but a flavor that I support. I think it's worth having for like a generic 
collection. Um, maybe just like wanting to brought in out that I would get this, but there's definitely flavors I would say get before this one, personally. Yeah, so we'll give it a 6.2 on that. And then next up, I think I said I was going to do the Wolfberry retry. And then we'll have, we'll end on Hidden Power, which is the first tub that I ever had. Reskin of a reskin. Because um, Phase X was my second favorite flavor ever whenever I started behind Black on Blackberry, which is Dual Berry now. Um, and then it slowly became my favorite flavor. And then Bobby Boysenberry happened, and that became my favorite flavor. So Phase, phase X slash Phase Freeze, which is now Hidden Power. Uh, holds a good place in my heart. Means a lot to me. And it's also the first and only tub I finished. So, uh, I'm trying to point reverse that one. The one up top. The only empty one up there. Right next to Crandor. A Crandor. Right next to him. That tub is empty and I finished it the. I believe it was the day of my one year anniversary of drinking G Fuel. Uh, or at least, yeah. Because it was the day that my order came in. So, yeah. One, one year. And so, with all these flavors coming in, I have nothing new that's coming in. So it feels like it was it's the right thing to finish on that flavor. Um, but we're not on that video right now. We're on Berry Bomb, which we gave a 6.2. Uh, okay flavor. Not the, not the craziest. Um, but definitely a flavor that, like, if you like some fruit flavors, give it a shot. But there's probably something else that's uh, must grab first. I'd recommend. I don't know if they're gonna bring it back for it, but if it's ever on a bogo, get it then. Get it on like a bogo, or um, if you get like a good thirty or forty percent off code, you could use that. Um, but I would say personally, it's not a flavor that I would just go automatically for getting it full priced or never really paid full price unless you're doing like BOGOs um, definitely find like a creator code that you like um, and then use that or even like a referral of a friend uh, somebody that has G Fuel app they can send you that has G Fuel they can send you a referral link and then they get percentage and you get a percentage and it helps out. Um, but it's definitely a flavor that's like, if you, if you like fruit flavors, give it a shot. Um, doesn't really hurt. But overall, just kind of an average, average flavor for me. 6.2. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll go back to trying Wolfberry in the next video. And then we'll finish up our current G Fuel reviews with Hidden Power, the Riskin of Phase X. But yeah, thank you for coming out of the video. Likes, comments, and subscribes are always appreciated. Uh, I have a Twitter, like I said, same name as my YouTube, uh, same picture and all that. There's giveaways on it from like other people that I share from and stuff like that. And so, definitely a lot of little fun that can happen. I usually end up sharing the link to my YouTube videos on it, anyways. Uh, sometimes I miss one here or there just because, yeah. Um, Try to get good at that. But yeah, so there's plenty of ways of supporting or even just watching my videos helps me. Um, overall, I like drinking G Fuel. I enjoy it. It's keeping me off of sodas as much, um, especially with trying to get working out and stuff. Again, trying to take care of my health. Um, I know it sounds weird to say that on an energy formula video, but you know, moderation. But trying to do better for myself and everything, it, it helps a lot. And I'm glad I found G Fuel when I did. So just making content out of it, uh, recording videos, giving my opinion of it, who knows, maybe it helps somebody out there to decide to buy G Fuel and give it a shot. And 
we can make this G Fuel family a lot bigger. Now that it's not already very huge, I'm very happy to have my, my G Fuel family around me. But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming out the video. Uh, thank you for watching it. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to give me some time, and I really do appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming out to the video, and I will see you next time.